Up next, we'll take you back to 1876 and the bank where Jesse James met his match. History happened here in the small town of Northfield, Minnesota. The only place in the world that can tell that they stopped uh, the James Younger gang. Hayes Scriven presides over one of the most unique Western museums in America, the bank where Jesse James and his gang met their match. It all ended here. It was September 7th, 1876. Eight outlaws led by Jesse James rode into Northfield to rob the First National Bank. Frank James, Charlie Pitts, and Bob Younger walked in the door, uh, jumped over the, the teller's cage, forced Alonzo Bunker, Frank Wilcox on the floor, they ordered and put their hands in the air, uh, went over uh, to the cashier's table and asked uh, Joseph Lee Haywood to open the vault. Uh, he refused. Downtown Northfield, Minnesota looks much the way it did back in September of 1876 when the James Gang rode into town to rob that bank. You can even see the hitching post where the outlaws tied up their horses. Same floor, same nails, same everything. Jordan Fields is one of the guides that can take you into the restored bank that looks exactly like it did the day of the holdup. That clock there is the same clock that was there on the day. And the table, too, is the one that Haywood was leaning on when Frank James shot him. Acting bank teller Joseph Lee Haywood gets much of the credit for thwarting the bank robbery. He resisted the gang, costing them valuable time, but paid for it with his life. I'm proud that he did that. I think he saved Northfield that day. Displays in the restored bank museum tell Haywood's courageous but tragic story. You can even see his entries into the bank register before the holdup and learn the minute-by-minute -minute details of just what happened on that violent day. And the third and final group to get into position was made up of Jesse James, William Chadwell, and Jim Younger. Outlaw Clell Miller blocked the door to the bank, but he was spotted by J.S. Allen, who owned the hardware store next door, and sounded the alarm. Clell Miller decided to start a shoving match with J.S. Allen, and when it didn't go right, J.S. Allen was able to break free from Miller and yelling, get your guns, boys, they're robbing the bank. Henry Wheeler did just that. Today you can see the rifle he used to shoot and kill Miller and the pistol he carried for the rest of his life in case Miller's family came seeking revenge. You can also see some of the guns the outlaws carried that day, the saddle one of them rode, and walk into the bank vault that held $15,000 that thanks to Haywood's bravery, the gang never got their hands on. They got away with just $26, but paid for it dearly. By the end of the robbery and the ensuing manhunt, three outlaws were dead and all the others wounded. The Younger brothers went to prison, and while Frank and Jesse James got away, the James Younger gang was history, and Jesse would be shot dead less than six years later. These townspeople rose up against basically an act of terror. And, and said, this is not going to happen in our community. That's impressive when that group had been doing that for 10 plus years. You know, no, who knows how many people they had killed. Northfield celebrates its brave ancestors every September during the defeat of Jesse James days. Horseback cowboys dressed just like the James Younger gang reenact the bloody bank robbery for huge crowds. And thousands tour the bank where that dramatic history happened and where the outlaws met their match. You know, Jesse and Frank and Cole and all them, they get the glory all the time, but it's never the townspeople that, that get the story, and here they do. You've read about it when you were in school and learned, and, and then you stand here where it all happened. It just makes life real, I guess. The Bank Museum is open seven days a week, and the defeat of Jesse James Days happens the first weekend after Labor Day every September.